Hello everyone, this is Erock, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a Ghost Recon Wildlands Season 2 Week 5 Challenge Guide. Alright, let's get right into it. So this is basically in, in Spiritu Santo, in extreme difficulty, use a ground vehicle to destroy Santa Blanca helicopters. So on this one, I went ahead and fast traveled into Espiritu Santa Alpha, and then go to Alta Gracia. On this one, you want to make sure you're in extreme difficulty, or it will not count. I pulled up a heavy um, armored SUV with a turret. And as you see, I'll go in here, get in the vehicle, I'll go over to where I marked um, helicopter on the, the map and just go to town on the helicopter and um, just basically you just rinse and repeat with this challenge right here. Okay, for solo challenge two, in Monte Punco, in extreme difficulty, kill three Santa Blanca veterans from at least 250 meters away. So on this one, I fast traveled into Monte Punco Bravo. I went to El Yeyo Cooperative, just south of that. Um, on the map, you'll see where the blue um, triangle was from a helicopter. I landed on the uh, hillside here. I caused enough um, disturbance in the area to have the Santa Blanca patrols come after me. Um, I then went down the hillside, across up to the other side at the proper distance, and then was then able to snipe and kill the three veteran Santa Blanca um, officers, veterans. Check it out and you'll see how I did it. The nice thing about doing the challenge this way is I was able to have three veterans in one spot. There are other places on the map that you can get one veteran and just but by doing that you're going to have to rinse and repeat. So by doing it this way I was able to get all three in one run. So that was really nice. Okay, now for solo challenge three, go into Santa Mateo, use the explosive drone to kill two Santa Blanca veterans. So for this one, I went into the San Mateo Bravo, that's where I fast traveled into. And then over there to the left was the Flores Farm. So that's basically where I went to for this challenge. Grabbed the helicopter, I went down to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, obviously land the helicopter get out of the helicopter and pop up the drone and this was um, I tried to go to the prison next door but there actually was not any um, Santa Blanca veterans there so I went ahead found this spot um, found the, the, the two guys walk around here marked them and then you'll see how I take them out with the drone it's actually pretty funny And then just obviously just go ahead and uh, rinse and repeat until you get this challenge done. All right, now on to the task force challenge. This one's in any providence, use a vehicle to run over Santa Blanca veterans yeah, 10 times. Right. Basically, I stayed in the same area that I just did the previous challenge in. Um, but instead of doing a helicopter, I called in um, the uh, armored SUV, basically drove it down there, and just drove over the two guys that are walking around. Um, 
you'll see you can go down this hill multiple ways. First time I, I think I flipped my car over multiple times. It was kind of fun. <laughs> um, but then again, obviously just rinse and repeat by doing this. Um, this was kind of fun with the explosion of hitting the tank. Um, but rinse and repeat 10 times until you have that challenge done. And then the community challenge obviously is in any province, use any weapon to destroy Santa Blanca sports cars. On this one, I basically like going to PN de Agua Verde province, and then I go to the Taibo mansion at the top of the lake. It's to the it's the mansion to the left. There are two vehicles sitting in the driveway. Um, I actually did a challenge um, back, I think in season one, here that required destroying of the sports cars. So there's two sitting right there. It's pretty easy. Um, the nice thing also about the challenges this week, um, everyone is at the rewards. Um, we get the Santa Marina helicopter for the solo challenges. There's a Santa Marina motorcycle for the task force challenge. And then there's dog tags patch for the community challenge. And then every solo challenge completed receives 2,500 XP and 2,500 units of each resource, which is kind of nice. So the rewards will get a little bit better. Well, that's it for this week's season challenge video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching and take care until next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.